Hey plant gang, we've got Rhodia japonica here. Uh, this is a great plant to consider for shady locations, especially, in my mind, dry shade. Uh, commonly, you'll hear the common name Nippon Lily or Japanese Sacred Lily. It is native to China and Japan. Uh, now, you kind of look at it and you feel it and it's, it's kind of got this, like almost a rubbery feel to it. Uh, this uh, one that I'm looking at has uh, got deeply deep ridges in the leaves, almost like an accordion where they've been kind of uh, smashed together a little bit. And in fact, people look for cultivars with that ridging in it. Uh, people who are really into rhodias, they call that drag, dragon ridging uh, that go through this one. Uh, so really indescript blooms that are down in the plant. I'm seeing this now in August uh, where I'm seeing the, uh, the remnants of the blooms, uh, large berries. Uh, that turn kind of a reddish cast to them. Uh, you can easily grow this from seed, uh, and it's a good thing to do that if you want to add more rhodia to your landscape, because this plant is one of the slowest growing plants that I know. Uh, this clump that I'm in front of here in dry shade started as one plant maybe 15 or 20 years ago, and really has not spread out that very much. Uh, but it's a great plant because we're always looking for something for dry shade. Uh, in particular, in my region of the country, eastern Tennessee, a lot of trees. And so a lot of people have shady landscapes. So plants that can fit the bill for shade and also dry shade are ones that are highly prized. So again, Rhodia japonica, called sacred lily, nippon lily, Japanese sacred li lily, evergreen herbaceous perennial native to most woodlands and slopes in China, Japan, dark green leaves, a uh, really upright, vase-shaped, clump-forming plant, uh, two foot high, two foot wide would be uh, good to mark down. Uh, flowers are insignificant, but then ripe, bright red berries provide some winter interest for this plant. Uh, plant it in as rich a soil as possible, but it can handle a variety of different conditions. Uh, here's a landscape tip. This plant is resistant to heavy shade and even can be planted under black walnuts.